Me oi chamoi! Why hello everyone, Mr. Barry here, and today the update dropped the beautiful, exquisite pencil event, pencil levels, shops, and quests. But how questful? How pencily is it? I don't know. But if you know, like the video, it helps me a lot. But anyways, as I did say, the pencil update dropped, and there is a lot of good, and there is a few questionable things that they did, and that is exactly what we're gonna talk about. So let's first get all the update stuff out the way by going through the changelog. Now here we are, the pencil event update by Meh Evan. Now obviously the first thing is the pencil event, which you know has pencil levels, and the cool thing about this one is unlike the battle pass type thing that they do where you have to unlock all those tiers, these ones it's just basic. Level 5 you get the pencil helicopter, and level 10 you get the hammer pencilman, which you get levels from beating the maps and completing the quests, as well as getting some cool little things, like this one you get coins and a luck boost. I mean, I like it, I think it's cool. The next thing is the pencil crate that has five units in it, which is the pencil man, the gun pencil man, the pencil mech, which people are upset about, which we'll get into, the creator pencil man, and then the titan pencil woman. Then you have the summoner pencil man, which is an exclusive. He basically just does nothing special. I mean, he summons a cannon apparently, and then another sword and a cannon. I don't care. It's just kind of a trash looking unit as well. Like, I don't know. He looks like the old man from Cur Courage the Cowardly Dog. I'm not a big fan of this guy. Then you have the Pencil World, which I kid you not is in top 3, might actually be my second favorite map, maybe even my first favorite map if I play it long enough. Then some smaller things, they just improved the name tag, so now you can see people's gems, coins, clan tag, the endless rank, the pencil level, and their username up above the head, which is pretty cool. And they also swapped out Egg Island with the North Pole map from the Christmas event, which I'm not going to complain about, a lot of you guys like that map, and I liked it too, so I'm glad to play it again. And then some small little improvements and fixes, which you can read here. Basically, to summarize these, it's mostly to help people on mobile as well as some trash clan stuff. So yeah, that's the update. Now, a lot of people have some criticisms of this, obviously, like people do typically. And one of the criticisms is that the pencil world is actually really easy. Now, I understand what they're talking about. It is a very easy map, but I actually really like that it's easy. I think it makes it so people can actually play the events without struggling like i like just playing the game and i like playing the map so being able to play the map without having to worry about sweating or doing some crazy strategy i'm happy about that hamster happy now the second thing people are upset about is the mech and i am completely in agreement. i am upset that he's only an epic i think that is completely lame that he's an epic he should have been at least a mythic visually he's really cool it seems like wasted potential like i feel like they could have done so much more and the craziest thing with him is in the pencil world, he is the boss. Like, he's the last person that you fight. So, like, what? That's so weird that the last guy is only an epic. But yeah, that's all I have to say. So yeah, disappointed. 